Hey everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another Dan Hell Blue channel. So this is another Salesforce DX tutorial, and this is how to deploy only Delta changes to your org. So I had a couple of requests on those on my previous videos. So this is just building on top of those knowledge. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, to kick us off, uh, I have created another repository from my previous um, repo, which we use for the tutorial. And this only contains the staging master and staging branches. And the authentication model that I'm using here is the SFDX uh, URL store. So that it should be straightforward, not using any of the JW, JSON web token. Um, then we're going to use a, a, a special app here to do the Delta deployment. So I already cloned this on my local machine. And let me just walk you through the existing actions that we're going to modify. So I have two actions here. One's for the pull request and one is for the push. Uh, this is push. Let me say that. So once the, on the pull request um, to the staging branch, what I want to happen is what's this currently doing is it's grabbing the force that force dash app folder, this entire folder, and it's converting it and it's deploying the whole uh, folder. So we only want to deploy the Delta changes. So let, let's let me walk through how to do that. So first, um, let me modify some stuff here. So I'm going to add a comment on this class, uh, comment added, save that. And probably one of the objects, uh, case, um, fields, that's good. And this date due, I'm going to say soon, save that. Go to get status, I have three modified files, including the one that, of the ammo. So that's fine. So if I go git, um, add. Uh, I need to probably create a new branch. So git branch. I'm on the staging branch. I want to create a new branch. I want to say git checkout. Uh, let, this would be, say, feature branch. So ADO111. And we show those modified files. So this time I could say git commit and say initial commit. Uh, not initial commit, but modified files. Cool, so I have three modified files. If I clear this, and I quickly run this um, git command. So on git, I'm going to say git uh, dash dash no pager. And I'm going to use the diff command. So diff dash dash name, then status, and name of the branch is ADO 101. And I'm going to target origin staging. So this is going to show me the three modified files that I have. Particularly what I'm interested in are the folders that are in the, the files that will be modified inside the force-app folder, which is the class and a field on the case. So this git diff, um, you need a special app to create this um, package for you. So to do that, uh, we're using this special um, app built by this guy. Um, it's Coladon, Sebastian. Yep. And this is his app. It's a node app. So basically, uh, we're going to install this app. And then we're going to pass it a bunch of parameters, uh, particularly the to and the from. And then the output where we want the files to be outputted and the uh, repo location. So this is a command. So this is based on the commit. So this is the first commit and then the previous commit, and then it would output the file. It would create a package.xml for us. So let's install this app. Once installed, if I run this command, and quickly close that, you would see that there's a destructive folder created and there's a package XML. So this is the manifest uh, file that we need. And you can see these are the changes that we just created. Now I could already deploy this using SFDX uh, for source deploy, but that is non-transactional, meaning if something fails on one of the unit tests or something because of my changes, it would still tell that uh, it's, it's a good build 
So what we want to do is still use the metadata API uh, deploy. So that's it's transactional. If it fails, it fails. So if I now convert this, so let me jump into what we currently have. So on the pull request here, this is converting the whole folder, specifying the root root directory plus the force that. But now, paste this, we're just specifying the manifest file and the package XML, and then do the same uh, convert. So it's going to create that folder. So if I do this, it's going to convert that package XML to the uh, format that we want. And this is that folder that was generated. It contains the class and it contains the object. And this object contains the whole thing. So you would see this is due date and it says due date soon. So now we're ready to deploy this. So on the current pull request that we have, uh, we're only doing a check on this uh, particular org. So I'm already authenticated to my org, by the way, on this DX. So force org open so while that is opening up oh, i'm good so i'm gonna run that command which would um deploy this converted folder and run a local test only so instead of it doing for the whole lot it's only doing it for this two class so that's basically and if we go to status here there should be something happening on deployment stats here. so that's basically how you do a delta deploy now we just need to replicate those steps inside GitHub Actions so we could have a proper CI CD uh, going on. So we won't need this anymore. Uh, probably we would. So I'm just going to change this from root force to this one. So what we need to add here is the uh, installation of the node app. So now um, I'm gonna put name, uh, install, app, and create delta. So let's see what happened here. So the unit test uh, ran on that org. If I go here and all is good. So let's go back. So I'm gonna create, install the app and create the delta files. So, and then we're gonna say run put a pipe that's going to be multi-line commands so i'm just going to quickly copy and paste this and walk you through what this is doing cool so let me close this so what this this is doing is it's running the installation of the app that uh, node app sfdx git delta and this git config remote origin fetch is just fixing some uh, remote reference for this particular pull request because what's happened behind the scenes when you check out when you do a pull request from a feature branch um, it checks it out on its virtualized environment and then the remote references sometimes gets broken so this is a fix for that and because we're on a different branch that particular ADO 111 branch that I just created I'm gonna uh, create a new branch out of that and this is the same command for doing the diff but this time it's the PR that branch and doing that and then for the particular command instead of putting the head because the head would be uh, based on the commit what I want to do is compare branches so from this branch to the uh, origin staging branch what are the difference spit it out and I'm just doing a cat to just print out what's the content of that package to be sure it's there and then we run the same command we convert that manifest package xml and then do that so if i save this and let me just quickly copy this actually just this command on the staging so we're gonna run the same steps on the staging branch so this one is once it's merge, once the code is merged on push to the staging branch, it's going to run this command. It's going to do the same thing, but this time we're not going to check out um, from a new branch. We're actually already on the staging branch. 
and we're comparing it to the master branch. So this would allow only the Delta files to be um, uh, deployed. Doing the same thing and change this to manifest as well. And then equals and then package package XML. Put it on, on the output it on the convert folder and then we deploy that config. Cool. So I think we're good. Um, let's put everything in. Um, git status. I only want to deploy this. I don't want to deploy any of this because this would just be created on runtime. So git add the pipeline and git add the uh, script for staging. I'll say git commit uh, staging uh, actions. And I say git uh, push or and then say origin and say ADL. So that's going to push this branch and do one only one to the uh, repository here. So now it detected that I have a new branch. I could now create a pull request. So I am creating a pull request from ADO 111 branch to my staging branch. Create that pull request. And if everything checks out, that pull request should kick off a build unless it failed, which likely it did. If I go here, you can see that it did fail. And let's see what's wrong here. Invalid workflow file. So I think my tabbing, because it's built on YAML, yep, this is very particular. I need to put a space in there and do it as well here and do that again. Add it, saying actions, and do a git push. Cool. Let's watch that pull request one more time. If everything's good, I should see that CI build. Now it's kicking in. Open that. And we should expect what we did locally on our machine, that it's going to create those Delta files and validate it. Um, let me check actions if something happened here. So pull request failed. Uh, this one's queued. Let me see why it failed. So I think it's because this looks good. This is the culprit. So it's the staging well, that's the culprit, and I'm going to commit this and do another push. So, go back here. Let's refresh this, make sure everything's lined up. Yep, so... Pull request is queued, something's happening at the background. started finally so this is doing checking it out setting up the authentication and this is installing the node app creating the delta files and if there's no error we should be good and this is running the metadata tests and let me expand this guy and see if the package XML that we cut is actually there. So it's doing its thing. 
it's running the unit test let's go here uh, refresh and it's running the unit test as you can see so this all looks good except for this pending deploy I think there's another pending deploy that's gonna happen on actions here so I think there's another one queued here anyway so we know that the script is working for the pull requests and it checks and everything's passed if I merge this this is now going to kick off the uh, staging on push to the branch and it would try to deploy the package so let me merge this now cool and let me go to the actions there should be a merge pull request happening right now sweet and this build should be exactly the same except uh, changes to the branch name and the way it's going to run the deploy which is no checks for uh, unit tests just deploy so if we go back here I refresh this I think it's finished yep it's finished the job is complete um, if I go now to case fields and date due so you can see the changes right there um, and then if we go to the apex class what was that what's the name of that one batch we convert Oh, it's yeah so the comment that we had is right there so that's how you deploy Delta changes to your target org uh, using Salesforce DX I'm gonna put this um, codes that I have on github um, you can check it out um, that's it uh, if you have questions hit the comments below uh, bye for now